Do you know that piece? It's called The Rite of Spring by Igor Stravinsky, and it's known for how unusually high in the register it is, at least for when it was written over a hundred years ago. If you're just starting to play the bassoon and you're trying to learn some higher notes, you're in the right place because I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for how to play in tune and with a good sound in the higher register. <laughs> This video is going to be showing you how to play the notes E3 to C4 on the bassoon. Now, E3 is not usually considered a super high note in bassoon world, but it's getting into that territory and that range where you have to start switching things in your embouchure and your voicing to be able to start playing in that higher register. There are three major areas that we need to talk about to be successful with playing high notes on the bassoon. They are air support, voicing and embouchure. I want you to hear the difference when I don't change anything in my embouchure, voicing, or air support. I'm going to play from a low A at the bottom of the bass clef staff and I'm going to slur up two octaves to the high A above the bass clef staff and I'm not going to change my air support, I'm not going to change my embouchure, I'm not going to change anything just so you hear what it sounds like with no changes. <laughs> As you can tell, it doesn't sound great. It's not even a high A that I'm playing, but that's what happens when I don't change anything to get to the high notes. So let's learn about how to start playing with high notes. Air support is like the number one fundamental to playing a wind instrument. If you don't have good air support, you're not going to sound good, period. If you've ever done any sort of core exercises like sit-ups or crunches or anything like that, that's kind of the feeling that your abs are going to feel when you are using higher air support. So in order to practice using higher air support, let's do a little exercise. So I want you to blow on your hand just like you would if you were blowing on a hot piece of food. And I, now I want you to engage your core a little bit more, so squeeze your abs as you're blowing and see what it feels like. You'll probably notice that the air is much faster, it feels more focused, it might feel colder to you because it's faster. That is the air support that we wanna use when we're playing high notes. So now I want you to hear what it sounds like when I play the low A to the high A, and I'm just going to be changing my air support, nothing else this time. So maybe you noticed that the higher A sounded a little bit better than it did the first time, but we still have some improvement to go in terms of the pitch and the tone of the note. The next major area that we have to think about with high notes is voicing. And voicing just refers to the shape of your oral cavity. And when I say oral cavity, I just mean kind of the space in your mouth in general and, and the opening of your throat. If you want to hear how changing your voicing works, do this little exercise where you pick any note on the bassoon and play it. And while you're playing it, change the shape in your mouth to match the vowel shapes A, E, I, O, U. <laughs> notice each of those vowel shapes change how the note sounds just slightly. It kind of changes the tone or the character of the sound. In general, when we play high notes, we want to think about the O vowel. This puts us in the best place to be able to play high notes with a good sound. So now I'm going to play the low A and the high A slurred again, and I'm going to change my air support like I did before, but this time I'm also going to change my voicing to be more of an O taller syllable when I go up to the high A. Just in case you don't know, embouchure is just a word to describe how our mouth fits around the reed so that we can create and control our sound. If you want to see my video on my three-step process to creating a bassoon embouchure, click on the card above. 
Now, I hesitate to talk about changing embouchure for high notes, but we do have to mention it. The reason that I hesitate is because a lot of students change their embouchure too much to make high notes speak. They think that's the only way that they can control their high notes on the bassoon. The way that I want you to think about playing high notes is that voicing and air support are going to be 90% of what makes high notes work properly. The last 10% is embouchure. To play high notes on the bassoon, I find that the higher that I go in the register, the more slight embouchure pressure that I have to put on the reed. For example, the embouchure pressure that I use for my low B flat is a lot looser than the embouchure pressure that I use for the B flat that's three octaves above that. So now I'm going to play the low A to high A slur, changing the three things that I talked about today. I'm going to increase my air support, I'm going to change my valve shape to be very O and open, and I'm going to tighten my embouchure just slightly to get that high A. Okay, now it sounds a lot better that I've made those three changes. It's in tune and has a better tone, and the, the timbre in between the low register and the high re register isn't quite as different because I've made all these adjustments for this high note. The unfortunate news is that what I did to adjust for that high A is not necessarily what I do for all of those notes between the E3 and C4 range that I talked about earlier. I am making slight adjustments for each one of those notes in that range, and you're just going to have to continue playing around with that and figure out what sounds the best, what is, what is the most in tune. Playing high notes well is a skill that takes years to learn. You need to practice changing your air support, changing your voicing, changing your embouchure slightly, and seeing what sorts of changes are making a difference in your sound. I have two tips for you if you want to try to learn high notes faster. One is listen to a lot of professional bassoon recordings playing in that high register. And number two, record yourself often playing in that high register. And when your sound starts to become a little bit closer to those professional bassoon sounds, that is when you need to memorize exactly what you're doing physically and try to imitate that across all notes in that high register. I hope this video was helpful for you and if it was then I ask that you hit the like button and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you stay up to date when I upload new videos and also I want to know which high notes you are struggling with on the bassoon so comment down below and let me know and if there's anything else that you want covered on this channel or that you need help with I would love to help you out and perhaps either reply to your comment or make a future video on a certain topic.